Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of Emmy Broker tutorial videos. Thank you so much for joining me. This is a really cool one about a really cool trading system as well. It's something that has, has sort of uh, gotten a lot of traction over the last couple of days after a post by JB Marwood, who's a really, really cool guy and has an excellent blog that I really recommend that you check out. A lot of people have, have seen this shorting strategy. So what I'm going to do is show you how to actually code it or my particular way of, of coding it. Um, and also so we'll see the results on the Australian Stock Exchange and just see how, how valid it would be for using in our market at the same time. So first of all the rules, what Joe was looking for was a stock that has gained more than 80% over the last five days um, is between two and twenty dollars and for our purposes, because our market's a bit smaller, we'll go between about five cents and twenty dollars. Um, and that's what uh, the Chartist did as well, Nick Raj. And volume is greater than 500 shares. So those things are relatively easy to, to code into, um, into AMI Broker. And let's just show you how really quickly. Now, what we need to do first of all is just set up the position sizing. Now, what Joe was doing was 10 stocks at one time, potentially, and 10% of his equity in each stock. So all I've done there, this is covered in another video, but basically we're setting our option of max maximum open positions to be 10 and our position size per trade to be 10% of our overall equity. So pretty simple stuff here. Now there are two ways to look for stocks that have gained 80% of their value and you know what he's looking for here is a stock that has really gone up 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 really quickly and then is looking to fall away um, after that really sudden move because it sort of can't handle it um, it can't handle moving up so quickly in such a short period of time on the outset it definitely does make sense um, and what I'm just going to do I'll show you two ways one is um, the the long way that I I found first, and then Joe actually had a way easier way. Um, he's obviously better at this than I am. <laughs> now, this is just the array that we're setting up, so we can call this anything. Um, we'll call this Joe's oh, awesome way. And what Joe had was a rate of change, which makes sense. It's just an indicator. Um, I had a method that was not using an indicator. So if we do a rate of change of the closing price, and again, if we type in ROC, it turns blue and we open up our bracket and it tells us what to put in there, which is really great. Um, when it turns blue, it means that Amy Broker recognizes that for us. So we want the closing price and then just of the last five days. So pretty simple. We close that bracket and we also want that to be greater than 80. So in other words, it's, uh, it's moved up more than 80%, like that's its rate of change over the last five days. So that's a really simple way. Um, this one was um, the, the long way. Close five days ago. And all that is, is we use the ref function. So REF, and we open up our bracket, and it's the closing price, and then we just put minus five. So that's the last, that's five days ago, in other words. And we close that bracket and just put a semicolon to finish that. So that's the closing price of five days ago. And what we want is, um, is that supernova, or, um, and again, you could call it whatever you want. We want today's closing price to be greater than the close of five days ago, which is what we set up there, times 1.8. So in other words, 180% of that price. So that's just sort of, you know, basic mathematics where uh, we're looking for it to go up by 80%. And so to do that, we times it by 1.8. Now I did check these out. These actually get exactly the same results, which is really cool. So, you know, you could use either one. And then all we have to do is set up our short and cover rules. Now, when we type in short, it turns bold, so that means Amy Broker recognizes that that's a good sign. And we've got cover here, which is um, to cover our short position. Now, for our shorting, uh, we've already set up our, what you know, whatever you want to call it again. We've got supernova there, or we can use um, Joe's awesome uh, uh, way, which is the other one that um, that JB Marwood set up and is really, really good, probably way easier. So we want that, but we also want and the volume, which is V, to be greater than 500,000 shares. Um, that was one of the one of the recommendations as well. 
and also we want the closing price to be greater than 5 cents, which is 0 0.05, but less than $20. So that's all of those things combined um, equal the rules for our, for our short sale. Now, what I've done here is to, to cover, I've actually just put cover as zero because what I want to do is a little trick that Amy Broker has, which is absolutely awesome, and it's apply stop. So we can just put a, a stop loss, and all we have to do, as you see, when it turns blue, obviously that's a good sign. We open up the bracket, and it's got stop type. So if we uh, type stop type, and if we say n bars, n bar, there we go, and it turns bold, so that's great. That means that I can stop there. So the mode is the next one, and we want stop mode, stop mode, bars, okay, great, <laughs> I got there eventually, <laughs> stop mode, bars, and the bars that we want to hold it for are the days, so each each bar is one day, and we just want to hold it for five days, and we want to exit at that um, at that particular day, close the bracket, and close off that line with a with a semicolon. So now that that, that basically will allow us to set up our our short rules, and then it will stop us out after five days, which is exactly um, what uh, what they recommended as well. So what we're going to do is just throw this into the into the uh, analysis, and the universe that I'm going to use, we would have to look outside the ASX top 200, and to be fair, not all of those stocks would be would be shortable. So there's always that problem as well. We're going to do it over the last 15 years. So from 2000 to 2015, the settings are, are just something that we change and we, we can start with just a hypothetical $50,000. We'll go with positions short only and obviously daily is what we're looking for as well. No margin, um, I personally prefer no margin myself and that should do it. All we have to do now is click back test and that will give us our results. Now here's where the funny thing came in. Um, Joe got some pretty good results out of this as well, which was, and it looked absolutely fantastic. Um, even Nick Raj got some really good results out of, out of this particular trading system, and it looked really good as well. Um, when I've done it, I have not got the same results. <laughs> so unfortunately, the results basically came up as, as about 1%, negative 1% per annum. Um, over 15 years, uh, essentially the, the equity just sort of dwindled, <laughs> dwindled quite significantly. But here's the kicker. It's this, it's this long tail to the left here where we've got a, quite a few really high losses. And I think that's the real risk in this particular trading system is that, you know, when we've got these, these, um, these high losses potentially, then that can really ruin a portfolio quite easily. Also, what I did, because I was really curious as to as to why this was happening, and the benefit of Amy Broker is that we can actually see the trades and the stocks um, that you know that we have in our portfolio. SYR, for example, um, we've got this one in 2012. So if I just jump back to 2012 and have a look, and validate it, and actually make sure that it is doing the right thing. So what we've got here is our our short arrow. So we're shorting in at about what 36 cents roundabouts. And then five days later, we've got 50 cents. So, you know, I can see there's quite a quite a difference there. Obviously, you know, that would give us a bit of a hit to the hip pocket. But then it happens again. So our next one, we've got about, we're entering at about $1.92 and exiting all the way up at $2.80. So yeah, that would definitely, um, that would definitely give us a bit of a, a bit of hurt to the portfolio for sure. Um, I mean, that wasn't the only one we've got RRL, uh, Regis Resources. A lot of these are resources stocks, by the way. Um, and that was back in 2004. So let's have a quick look. There we go. And we'll just, oh wow. So look at that. And I'll just enlarge that a little bit. There's two for this one as well. And as you can see, it's not a data problem. So it's definitely legit. Uh, whether you would have been able to short this, this stock or not, here's another story again, which is just another problem, I guess. Um, but we've got the, the, the short arrow there, probably coming in at about 86 cents, um, and then exiting at about $1.13, about a 30 to 40% loss, um, basically there. If we look at these, especially these two, these are probably 
the, the prime reason and why I'd be just a little bit skeptical about using it for my own personal trading, um, apart from you know the hassles in trying to get uh, stocks for short selling. Basically, if we're short selling here, we're expecting it to go down. Our, our um, profit is limited to zero, basically, and it's so, you know, it's quite close to zero because it's, we're looking at very um, sort of penny stocks, I guess you'd call them, in a lot of instances. Um, and so, in other words, the, the downside or how far it could go up if we're shorting is almost unlimited. You know, I know it's not really unlimited, but it could go up a lot further than it could go down, put it that way. So in other words, if we're looking at risk to reward, the risk to a reward, um, for my purposes, uh, may not make as much sense as a stock that would be, you know, trend following, for example, where we're, we're going up and, you know, the upside is unlimited rather than the, the downside being unlimited. That's just my two cents on it. And again, these results don't match up with everyone else's. So, you know, there's the potential there that, that my results are not correct. Um, definitely take this with a grain of salt because I am. Um, and also, obviously, definitely have a lot of respect for both Joe and Nick Raj um, and where their analysis is, is coming from. It's highly probable that they've done it the right way and I've just messed up somewhere. But at least we can see the trades and it's, you know, it's a very interesting thing at the very least. I think it's absolutely fantastic because, you know, I, I've never really found a good short selling method. The market really goes up about 80% of the time. So, you know, short selling is can be a little bit tough. Um, but this is really, really cool to see. And it's good to be able to validate these sorts of things, um, you know, when you hear about them uh, for your own particular market as well. Guys, stop by the website. It's asxmarketwatch.com. There's heaps more videos on Amy Broker and how to code things as well. Um, and if you enjoyed this, you can sign up via email or ch just check out my YouTube channel or Twitter channel at ASX Dave as well. Have a great week. Happy trending until we meet again. Bye for now, guys.